All right, for real, for real, we are actually ready for Teddy now. So um, please introduce, uh, welcome me in introducing Teddy Rass with Night's Try. Uh, Teddy, you are good to take it away. All right, so this is like a little rage platformer that came out earlier this year. I'm just gonna get right to it. Whee! Oh, I thought I missed for a sec. We're good. <laughs> And it run starts now. The timer is already going. Whoop. It was like an N64 style platformer that came out for the PC this year. Uh, it's pretty fun, a little janky though, but like also pretty challenging. Oh, this first section, I don't usually die in it. Cause like there's little tricks like I can just ignore these spikes, lol, don't care. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna jump on this thin fence because that big butt sword is gonna. Cut right through, we just gotta go through there. Did I jump early? No, we're good, I live. Cool. Dying on the first checkpoint, I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna wait for this piston to do its thing. Go. Yeah, I, I'm doing this sort of the worst character. Uh, there are four characters. You start off with this guy, then you like can unlock more by beating the game more with different ones. Uh, this guy's the worst jumping and the worst speed. Don't hit by the big sights. There we go. The other characters have like, you know, faster running, one that jumps really high, and there's one that like does both. I'm gonna wait for these. This is the very end. That, that, that weird, like, uh, choir sound like, oh my god, am I gonna get hit? I'm gonna just stand right here, there we go. <laughs> oh, whoops, I moved early, that's great, we're gonna start over, sick! <laughs> Timer's still going, but whatever, it's building the estimate. I moved too early, I forgot those, th those hitboxes linger. <laughs> nice. Not really a good sign if I died at the first checkpoint, but whatever, we got my building the estimate, it's okay. Anyway, this is Night's Try- no. Yeah, there are multiple characters, this one's, like, the fall one. Shows you some he's most interesting, usually. Oh my god. Let's get past this. Yo. Other characters have skips and stuff, they can make the run, like, really, really short. This guy actually has to, like, do everything. Like, some- like, I think most characters can skip one entire checkpoint. I'm gonna wait for this. I don't trust it. I could've made it, but whatever. Just being cautious. Oop. Skips aren't even interesting, it's just like... Do a jump here. Wow, you skipped an entire checkpoint. Let's <laughs> Take that- the content. Oh yeah, fun fact, there's a- there's a cat on that roof. Hi, kitty. Don't- don't got time to talk to him, though. Shit for that death. Let me wait. I'm gonna not mess around here with like the, the spike dodging. I'm just gonna go. There we go. Okay, now we gotta bait this thing out and not get chopped. Cool. Alright, checkpoint one. That should have been a no death one, but whatever. There goes a minute of time. Checkpoint two has gotta be like one of my least favorite because it's got a really annoying couple of. Crabs coming up. This one's not that bad, it's just be patient. The trap, I guess. Now let's wait for this boulder and then we'll, we'll drop this down. Because they'll collide with that thing and then it can mess me up. Like the boulder will like bounce off like it's straight course and like I have to like, try to dodge it. Because by touching these things, they kill me instantly. And they're all like giant boulders. It's some Takeshi's Castle BS. Yeah, so I'm gonna get obliterated by them by touching them all. The last one's annoying, but whatever. There we go. You know, other characters have an easier time here because they can just jump over that thing after they knock it down. And also their jumps are easier here. This is the first part I don't like. This is like the construction site or the jungle gym, whatever you want to call it. There's some really tight jumps here. Like this, I don't like that with this character. Other characters, they don't care about that jump. This guy, that's like really annoying. A lot of thin platform platforming. Let me get him lined up just in case. Alright, cool. This jump is dumb because you have to like hold forward and you barely make it. You stop holding forward at any point, you just don't you don't have enough jump height for it, that's really weird. Right, now we get this platform. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let me do this little glitch there where I can just phase through those blocks. Whoops. Almost got chopped. I'm trying to do fancy stuff, but like trying to do like little speedrunner tricks. There we go. Don't piston me, we're good. This, this is the end of the, the segment, but I gotta be careful. I've died to this before and it's really tilting. We already died at the very end of a segment last time, that's the worst place to die, because it, like, costs you the most time. 
If you're gonna die during any of these, die at the beginning. It saves a lot of time. Here we go. This is the section that a lot of characters skip. I think, like, half of them do. It's probably a good thing, because there's just a bunch of ra It's kind of random. Like, you can, like, control these cannonballs are gonna land by, like, this, they're based on the direction you're facing, so, like, if I, like, like, turn around, they're gonna, like, aim behind me a lot of the time. But they're not super accurate, so, like, they'll randomly just kind of hit you. Even on these, like, really thin platforms here. So, yeah. Kind of, like, half be good, half get lucky. <laughs> Although, like, the next segment, there's still a little bit of cannonball at the beginning of it, we can, like, actually, like, manipulate them better, because there's more, like, oh, I gotta wait for this first cycle, that sucks. I'll be fine, I'll be fine now. There we go. They can still hit me over here, and I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Whoop, there we go, that jump is also really tight for no reason. Because the dev is mean. Yeah, let me get out of this, these pillars, I don't like getting hit here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wait for the next volley. A lot of those all in. Good enough stuff. This section kind of frustrates me dealing with these spinning blades and the cannonballs. Trying to get through as fast as possible. That's also like, you know, the entire point of the speedrun. Oh my god, okay, there we go. That one, that one went under. I thought it was hitting me. <laughs> if they hit the wall though, you can just explode. I'm not even concerned with these big old choppy swords. I'm more concerned with. Yeah, like that'll get me. But like, the cannonball hitting me randomly here at the very end. Oh my lord. <laughs> There we go. First try, easy. Yeah, this part I can manipulate them a little better, because I can do this. I can be like... You don't know where I'm going? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Just get shot. It's fine, we're like next to a checkpoint. They just like... You like do a little turn jump like this, and like they'll, they don't know where to shoot most of the time. I feel like I have some control over this part, but also, like, they're not super accurate, so, like, they'll, they'll miss you, but then hit you on accident. <laughs> it's really stupid. A little slower to jump like that, so I'm gonna try to, like, go straight as much as possible, but... It's probably, like, the most annoying part of this checkpoint, although there's a section at the end of this one, too, that's only annoying for this character. Because he has, like, no... I'm gonna wait for some chop. There we go. He has, like, no air strafing. He's the slowest. Alright, let me wait for this. I'm just gonna play it safe. Cool. Also, those things in the walls are the spike traps from earlier, so if I go near them, they can, like, stab me like that! Let's not do that. They're gonna have to deal with some wind in a sec, aside from this little one, which is gonna be annoying. I'm gonna have to make a weird jump. There we go. Please, there we go. <laughs> Let go of me. Wind's grabbing me. Alright, cool. Yeah, there's like these wind tunnels over here. It's kind of hard to tell where the edges are, and this character sucks at air so we're gonna be like patient. Hope I don't drop out the bottom. And also, there's a big statue of him. I guess this is his castle. I'm not sure where he built it like this, but like, alright, sure. <laughs> Whoop. Yeah, let's do it. And I gotta not fall out the side too early. Let's get that all the way. I think we're... Yeah, we fell at the bottom. I couldn't tell where the edge was. <laughs> Whatever, we're gonna do that over. It's a short second. My goal in this is do this under 10 deaths. We're on track for that still. We got a lot of checkpoints to go. Come on, don't hit me. Oh, wow, nice. <laughs> Cannonballs are mean. The radius is like super deceptive too, because their explosion is just like a little JPEG. Got no 3D depth to it or anything. Whoop. Hard to tell when it's hitting sometimes. Whoa, that almost hit me in a midair. It's happened a lot more times than I than I'd like to have happened. Like these cannonballs aren't even that accurate, they've direct hit me like way too much. Even though I'm doing like the weird jumping BS. And he was back to the wind tunnels and doing more of that blade. This section's probably one of the more easy ones, except for like the beginning and the ending, which is just kind of frustrating with this character. The other characters have a. Uh, I'm gonna chop there, cool. Other characters have like, you know, better airstrike and they move faster, so it's less of a problem, but this guy's the slowest and has the worst jump, so he's like the worst airstrike. Come on. 
This makes getting around this thing really annoying sometimes. Danny user. Back to this segment. There's another game mode of this that's even harder where you only get like three checkpoints, then if you die three times, you go back to the very beginning. I always kind of tempted to do that for a marathon, but also like, no. <laughs> Why raise the stakes? It's like barely anything. You don't get any of your benefit out of it, it's just kind of like, wow, oh, you did it, congrats. <laughs> All right, this one's better. Really, I'm, I'm not gonna get trapped at the bottom. Uh, I think I'm just gonna hold forward. We're pretty good here. There we go. Cool. I, I really don't like. I'm gonna wait for. I'm not gonna get enough height on this. So we're gonna wait to like do it again. I think. There we go. Being safe. <laughs> kind of the repeat that segment. One of the easier segments is also like really like longer, more boring than it should be, especially because when you get to the end here, the checkpoint's really, really far away. Like I'm gonna turn the corner, then it's, it's all the way down there still. <laughs> this is one of the checkpoints we skip with like, like you're going for like PBs usually. Because that segment's like not, if you like die, you have to restart the round most of the time anyway. And like going and getting that checkpoint's really slow here because you just drop down the hole. There's a big hole in the floor here. But I'm gonna grab it because, like, this next segment's really, really frustrating with this character if I end up dying at all. I don't want to repeat two segments, that would be really dumb. It'd be a waste of time. This is one of those segments that's like, that really sucks for Grey Knight, but doesn't suck for the other characters. Simply because they're all just fast enough to outrun the skeletons, because there's just a big skeleton army down here. Although sometimes there's a glitch that despawns them. Nobody knows what ha why it's caused. I, I have no idea. S sometimes skeletons just aren't here, but they're almost always here for the Grey Knight. Should be hearing bone rambling in a second. I'm gonna try to get I'm trying to get ahead of them, but so I can make it to this platform at least. Other characters they can they just outrun the skeletons, which is wonky to me, but whatever. If I touch them, I die instantly. So let's, let's not do that. Alright, how's our timing with this thing? This thing, sometimes you get, like, really bad timing and you can't do anything about it. This time we got good timing. Alright, cool. Let me not mess up this segment because I don't like repeating it. Okay, good. I made that jump. I thought it was a little early, but, like, good. <laughs> it was a little iffy, but, like, I was, like, to barely make it, too. Alright, there's gonna be discipline. Oh, we got these guys running out ahead. I hate when they do that. That guy ran all the way around the corner. I hate when they do that. He's gonna come back here and maybe kill me. Oh god. Oh god! Ah! <laughs> Stay away! Okay, there we go. We're fine. <laughs> They're, they can be unpredictable. I don't like them. Okay, and then chop down. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> okay, that guy's running out ahead a little early. I'm, I can kill the skeletons, luckily. I'm just gonna do that just for safety. I technically don't need to, but like... Also, you might as well. That guy almost slipped through. What the heck? Uh, that's all of them. Okay, we're good. They got stuff there. Like, they, like... Clearly, at some point in development, they were, you weren't supposed to... They, like, they didn't have that added, but you're supposed to, like, jump down there, like, go up through that way, but like... Eh. I'm glad they added that. Glad they added the skeleton lasers, because otherwise they wouldn't die until the next chapter and like uh, the normal. Because if you, you fall down here, it's kind of forgiving. You don't like you don't die here usually. It's just you have to do everything over again. It's kind of frustrating. Like this jump, I hate. You barely make it, and it's so thin. Yeah, oops. I think I got a short jump. There's a there's a few glitches in this game that are still in that aren't going to get patched to the dev that, like is rightfully moved on for me. It's just like a pretty small game. It's like yeah, understandable. One of them is, uh, you just, like, jump shorter randomly sometimes. And, oh god, yeah, I overshot it, sick. <laughs> if you get that, it's just, like, sometimes you just die and it's like, well, great. <laughs> this is a, that jump's another one of those jumps where, like, you can only make it with this character if you just hold forward and, like, hold jump and all that. Whoops. But you have to, like, let go of the forward button as soon as you make it, which... And then I have like a really tight platforming section here. Let me make it hopefully. Not get short jump. If I get a short jump here, I'm dead, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go, cool. Then you have disappearing platforms. I'm gonna go to the checkpoint. A PB attempt would also skip this checkpoint, but like. Yeah, nah, I'm good. 
Laser section up here ahead here is not that hard, but like, it's really easy to die to it too. Especially the beginning part. I'm, I just kind of go, I don't even look where they are, I'm just, cause like, I got disappearing platforms, I'm just like, let me just do it, please. I'm gonna, I think I can make this. Yeah, okay, I made it, cool, let me, there, where's the next laser? It's gonna come right here, there we go, cool. Uh, I can make this, I think. I think we got really good timing coming in here, that's great. Easy laser. Well, that one, I forgot, I forgot about that one, it's fine, sick. Alright, uh, this is gonna come chop me down in a second. Let me, uh, please come back up real quick, thank you, there we go. <laughs> the timing is great. Wait for that horizon. I could've gone, but whatever, I'm gonna be cautious here. Might as well. Might as well not have to repeat the laser section, you know? Please, Choppy, thank you. There we go. Alright, cool. That laser down there is in a good spot, too. We've got, like, this last room of lasers, and then this, this section's over. This section's nice and short. It's not that hard to figure out either your first time. I need to wait for this to go above my head. There we go. Jump, and then jump, and then don't cross that beam. Sick, we got it. Section over. And we got, the, like, the last three sections. They're the worst ones. Let's see if I can get my character to slow down, otherwise I get yeeted in the sky big time. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes the game's like, nah. Some real inconsistent stuff, I don't know why. Nice, that's nice. Okay, we got boulders rolling down a hill now, and I gotta deal with that. And then I gotta deal with the windmill from hell in a second. It's like this, but it's vertical and it's going really fast. I don't know why they did that. Oh, hang on, it's going to land on me. Have a quick no. second for they normally, like, fly by my head here. Yeah, go for it. Thank you so much for helping us, everyone that helps. Okay. Oh, I, I timed it too bad, whatever. <laughs> I waited too long. That boulder was a little slower than I thought, and I kind of forgot. Jumped early onto it. There's, like, no time to do that. You have to, as soon as you go, you have to just jump off. Oh well. Sometimes it happens. Again, as long as I stay under 10 deaths, I can generally just make it under us, but it's fine. Oops. I'm gonna... A little wait in here. Like, oh yeah, a lot of the traps in this game, they have, uh, like, they'll speed up cycles, like, let's go earlier. No, we're good. And they don't always go in consistent cycles, they'll sometimes be faster or slower. That seemed like a faster one. I don't like that, but that worked. Like, the boulders are one of them, or, like, sometimes they'll be, like, you'll just do one a little earlier than you expect. There's no way to really tell either, unless you're just sitting there staring at it for a while, which sucks. Yeah, here, here's the, the tower. This is kind of one of the worst obstacles in the game, and it's got the abs absolute worst trap in the entire game, because it's the vertical windmill I mentioned. You know, the normal windmill, whatever, the vertical uh, spinning swords. So there we go. Which is the next obstacle coming up here after this little jump. It's the worst because it, it has different timing for every single character, so if you want to, like, switch characters, or, like, you come back to the new character, you're like, I've done this before, here's the timing. No, it's wrong now. Uh, let me... It is. Great, I didn't die. <laughs> the thing has killed me so many times and I hate it. The timing for that jump is extremely tight, but I have practiced it, so like, there we go. This part I hate too. The jump is really awful and I don't like it, and luckily we're past it. There's one like little baby jump here at the end, which hopefully I don't die to. Yeah, that, that jump's not hard, but there we go. Hooray, the, like one of the worst segments is over. <laughs> We got two more segments left. That they have a boss now. Uh, he has a gun. He's gonna shoot at me from his little floaty platform. Before the run, though, I went and beat the game once, so I, I'm a glitch is active, or he'll miss all his shots while his platform's moving. He also moves at like double speed. But as soon as he stops moving, it's like super aim. That was unfortunately bad timing. That choppy blade came down at the wrong time, so that was kind of not great for me. Like I wanted to be like this, so I can just run out of the blade. I think he's gonna start shooting. I'm gonna wait here. Yeah, there we go. You're only supposed to take cover. Other characters are fast enough to like, they can like, not have to wait for this guy, but this character's too slow, so I gotta wait a sec sometimes. It's not shoot me, thank you. There we go. 
Also, the rest of the run's gonna have a lot of these buns showing up. Uh, there's only one problem with buns, and that, like... I, I don't know if I mentioned, but, like, uh, if, you, if you're you on a slope, you can't jump at all. Your character just gets, like, the jump removed when, like, you're sliding down slopes. Like, prevent, like, cheating and whatnot. And, like, the sides of those buttons sometimes count as slopes, so, like, they'll just eat your jump, and you think you're gonna get a jump, and you don't, and you'll die, and that's gonna happen a lot in your end, because, like, there's gonna be platforms where it's pretty much just button. And I could just, like, I don't know, have to reset the segment. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully not, though. And then we're on to the final checkpoint here, which is probably my least favorite at this point, because I've been repeat it so much. Let me just take a quick death, so I can reset the guy. If I dull, he'll shoot at me during this next part, and I don't like that. Please reset. Thank you. I was clicking instead of using the space bar, but that's fine. Then normally, like, if I don't res like do a quick, like, why did my jump not go? <laughs> Alright, whatever. That wasn't on purpose. That one was... Jump machine broke. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Sometimes you just don't get a jump. Yeah, he'll shoot me earlier, and then I'll get killed. He misses those shots, though. The gun guy's nice, he's like, the first couple shots, he just doesn't have any aim on. After that, he'll, uh, never miss you. There we go, waiting for the cycle. He can hit me in certain spots here, I'm gonna get the timing good so I can just leave. There we go. There's also a glitch to, like, permanently press down those buttons, like, in a previous run, and then, like, you don't have to do that, but I think it's lame, so I don't do it. I'm already doing the lame trick if I'm gonna skip the ending here a little bit. Yeah, I can make this one pretty sure. Don't shoot me, please. Okay, no, I didn't make it. <laughs> I should have waited and played safe. I forgot how this character works. Cool. <laughs> I mean, I forgot how slow he is. Whoop. Okay, cool. I'm gonna play it safe and wait for their pillar next time. Alright, he's gonna be done shooting, like, literally now. There we go. I don't think I've died to those little small blades, for, like, in a while, but let's not do it now on the marathon. <laughs> That'd be cool. Oh yeah, I, I've died ten times. I don't want to die anymore. I want to keep it under ten, so, like, that'd be great. Now we can make it to this pillar for sure. I'm gonna go here. Yeah, like, there's a lot of this platform at the end here, and, like... Oh god, that, that blade slowed down. They can do that. <laughs> I almost got chucked. You see, a lot of the traps, they'll speed up and slow down. They're not, like, super consistent speed. It's designed entirely to get you killed. I'm gonna wait here, which is not a great move, but, like, it's it's safer, technically. Right. Oh, okay, good, I made that. I thought I just got short jumps. Okay. Cool. Got a really unfun jump coming up right here where I can jump in these sites and also get short jumped and die. Me. Okay, cool, it worked, right. I'm gonna wait for laser beams to be on my way now. I'm gonna chill here for these this one to pass, and then I can go literally now. I don't like this one because I barely make this. Ah. Okay, there we go, I live. Okay, then I, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. He's gonna start missing his shots at his platform to move. Uh, jump that- wow, I forgot that laser misses, that's cool. <laughs> Great. Alright, that should be the end of the run. Normally there's a big laser wall there and I have to go kill the boss, but like, since I completed a previous run, I did a glitch. I'm not gonna show it till I get up to a safe spot. <laughs> you get, he shot me up here sometimes and I'm like, I don't wanna risk that. But yeah, the boss will go to like- like, at the end of the move that pillar, he moves to like- the very end segment back there, and I like step on like a little button, and stab spikes into him, and like then he dies, and you then you just leave. It's a waste a little small bit of time, and I'm just like, nah, we'll do the glitch for you. Just, you beat the run once. But yeah, that should be under 10 deaths and way under estimates. That's pretty sick. Uh, the ending's just like basically a victory lap. You float up here, and then you go into like a flight mode. And, like you just you fly back to the beginning of where you started the run at. Very first segment. That should be good. Hooray. Uh, yeah, where, where, where's the beginning? <laughs> Everything's out of draw, doesn't it's like a little foggy right now, so I gotta wait to see it. I'm just gonna fly back to the beginning, and then time will be when I go through the, uh... 
the big giant onion knight head. It'll be fireworks in a second. You'll see what I mean. It pops up later and later, I swear, every time I get here, so I gotta like find out where it is. I'm gonna undershoot it or overshoot it. I hate when that happens. Spawn in, there we go. And time. That's pretty good. I think it's my second best time ever, so that's pretty decent. <laughs> You are a true knight of try. Then I can press these buttons for some reason, they make noises. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching.